All right, we're here at New York Comic Con. How does it feel to reintroduce Titans back, season four? So exciting. I mean, we were here season one, and it was a highlight for the show. And because of COVID and because of the world, we haven't been able to be back with fans and to be back with, you know, the crowds to really soak in the love for Titans, the excitement, the energy. Um, I guess we're over the moon. Yeah, like last season really crippled a couple people emotionally. They were like, can't believe you did that. Wait, what's going on? And then now going to this one, you got Brother Blood. I'm a big Jeffrey Morgan, or Joseph Morgan fan. Like I looked at the originals, I looked uh-huh. at Vampire Diaries. Yeah. So I was kind of like, when you cast it, it's like, where are they going with this? So can you tell me anything about Brother Blood a little bit? Well, I mean, it starts with Sebastian, who's the character before. So we do a prequel or an origin story with Brother Blood, okay. which we were interested in because, you know, a lot of these cult stories focus on the cult leader and all, all the power. But you yeah. just, that wasn't interesting to us as much as it was, how does someone become that person? How did he get to that point? Yeah, and so we start with Sebastian, and Joseph captures that sense of someone who's living on the margins, feels unseen, feels like people don't really, you know, he doesn't connect to anybody in the world, and he has great plans, but he doesn't know how he can get them done, given his resources. And then he, it turns out that he's told he's destined to greatness and destined to ultimate all power and how do you handle that when that's dropped on you you know that hits hard it hits weird it hits different and how do you move through life once that happens and how do you keep your ego in check and how do you become who you were or do you just let it go yeah, because it's like either one, the ego is going to take over. You're going to become like, oh, this is a big responsibility. Let me fall back and take responsibility for this differently. Okay. So to, to throw that into the stew, we also, he then connects with the Titans. And in connecting with the Titans, you get a sense of what family means Ooh. and a sense of what responsibility to family is. So now, now he's got to weigh that too. Okay. So what is one big thing that you want transitioning from season three to season four that the audience can be like, okay, you've never seen this before? Without spoiling too much. Well, we'd make a, a real hard left turn into horror and oh, really? into the paranormal and supernatural. Oh. So, you know, there's a lot having to deal with the kind of darker magic uh, of the, the world that we haven't seen before. And we bring in a few characters, including Jinx, that helps us understand that more. Um, and then we also have Mother Mayhem, who is Ooh. a terrific character who really brings up a lot of the mother son tensions. Mm-hmm between Brother Blood and Mother Mayhem right. in terms of how are, are you going to do it my way or are you going to do it your, your way? way? Right. Well, congratulations. I'm excited for it. I'm a big fan. Thank you so much for this time. Thank you. Good to meet you. Good to meet you as well. Take a picture with you. Uh, yeah, let's do it. Filing out the top 